After 14 days of testimony, deliberations are underway in the Derek Chauvin trial. During closing arguments today, the prosecution referred back to that cell phone video documenting the last few moments of George Floyd's life, calling Chauvin's actions an abuse of power and a betrayal of his badge. The defense arguing Floyd's drug use or medical problems may have contributed to his death. The jury will be sequestered, remaining behind closed doors until they reach a verdict. It's a case people across the country are watching very closely, including right here in Charlotte. Last night we saw protests in Uptown calling for justice ahead of the verdict. WCNC Charlotte's Lana Harris joins us live from Uptown. Lana, this trial is having an impact right here in the Queen City as well. Good evening, it is, and if you lived in Charlotte last summer, you probably remember all of the protests that erupted day and night here in Uptown and really across the Carolinas after that video started circulating. Well, people I talked to today say they feel we could see some of that same energy depending on the verdict. The day before closing arguments in the Derek Chauvin trial, dozens of people in Charlotte took to the streets of Uptown demanding justice. Matter. That I'm excited by um, how people are using the momentum from last summer to uh, show up in the streets today and now. Ash Williams with Charlotte Uprising says it shows people are getting serious about accountability for fatal police shootings, which disproportionately impact people of color. All weekend I prayed because I knew today was the day they would do closing arguments. Charlotte NAACP President Kareem Mack believes this verdict represents more than just Floyd. The United States is standing on a cliff. If there's a non-guilty, um, not guilty verdict, we're going to have a problem in this country and in this world. Max says she's watched the trial and doesn't know which way the jury will decide. We only need one person to find some way to make an, an excuse. Former officer Derek Chauvin's defense made the case that Floyd's death was caused by heart issues and drug use. But Mac believes discounting the video showing Chauvin kneeling on Floyd's neck would send the wrong message. A nine to ten minute video that we witness for ourselves. Do you? have any understanding as to the approval we're giving racist police and police as a whole, the green light to continue to kill us. According to a study by Monmouth University, 63% of people say an innocent verdict would have a negative impact on race relations. Mac believes it would only spark more protests. If there's a mistrial, I'm like, my fear is we're going to have the same thing because people are sick and tired of being sick and tired. Now, of course, we reached out to CMPD about this. They tell us they are monitoring the situation in Minneapolis, and they do have a plan in place if we should start to see protests spark up locally. Here in Uptown, I'm Lana Harris, WCNC Charlotte. Lana, thank you. And, of course, we will bring you the verdict when it happens here on the air and on the WCNC Charlotte mobile app.